welcome back. Now, Derek, as always, is out and about, but he's in the West this morning. Derek, good morning. What are you the up West. to? Oh, it's a soft morning here in the West. <laughs> That's right, Simon. Good morning to you. Uh, live here from Clune Tuskert in County Roscommon. Shauna joins us now. Shauna, tell us about this community project. So where we're standing right now, Derek, was a former waste ground site. Um, we've completely redeveloped in the past number of years. It's open since 2021. Work going on all through COVID Now, we're well. going to walkie-talkie here. We're going to say hello to Margaret. Good morning to you, Margaret. Tell us what Margaret's doing. So these cuttings um, and plantings here were grown in our polytunnel in association with our GRETB community education courses to be able to inspire growing our own in our community. So we have a variety here, comfrey, Japanese wineberry, and we have little strawberries. And tell us about well. this tree here. This is quite an unusual tree. Yeah, definitely. So when you look at it straight away, I know that you might think it's Norway spruce or Sika spruce or something like that. It's actually a pine nut tree. The variety is dwarf Siberian, mm. so it won't grow too big. But the little pine nuts, actually develop inside here. Oh, lovely. And you get those like a pesto pasta salad, small little Oh, so you put that into your pesto? That's it, exactly. Oh, yeah, oh, so growing our own Okay, so we're too. going to swing around here. Everyone, of course, is very, very busy here in the garden. And of course, you're planting an orchard here. Talk us through this tree. What have you got here in the orchard? So we have a variety of trees here. Um, in 2020, that was our initial plan to be able to plant all the trees. We have a variety of apple, plum, damson, and we also have medlar, a very special heritage fruit variety. We had hoped to plant them in 2020, of course, COVID struck, we had to heal them into the ground mm. and reassume activity in 2021. So they're planted since springtime. And we have 21. a bit of fruit coming on yeah, there lots, as well. Yeah, now, I love yeah. this wildflower meadow piece. This is all preserved for the, the, the bees. Yeah, that's particular. it. Exactly. And butterflies and all and our pollinators. So we have a variety of plantings. You can see we've let it grow a little bit wild. So rather than tending to perfection and everything in terms of neatness and order, we're doing our best for biodiversity. So we have a mix of berry bushes here. So growing our own in terms of soft fruits and whatnot but also wild strawberries, cuttings made from our community education Now we're going to do a bit horses. of planting here. Uh, of course, in behind me, we have the bog there, which was a turf bog for we, many, many years. Yeah, because Clintuskert actually is the only county Roscommon board in Mona village. There were seven developed in Ireland in the early 1950s. Yeah. So our village is here sin, sin, since 1952. And the bog is right behind us. Of course, the rain is blown across and has kind of um, blocked off the view today, but we're right beside the bog. But you're telling me there, that line of trees was actually a shelter belt that was, that was uh, planted. Yeah, they're there about 70 years now, Norway spruce uh, plantation as a shelter belt because uh, the peat dust in the summers will blow across into the houses here. So that was its purpose. Now, you're involved in the energy I get growing Ireland Day and uh, what are we planting here? So we're absolutely delighted to be involved with the Energy a Get Ireland Growing Day 2022 in association with GIY. So we have been doing our own planting over the past couple of years, but we're particularly inspired this year to further develop projects that bring community growing to the fore. So we have a mixture of plants here. These are strawberries made from cotton from our course participants with your to community education. We have some pollinator friendly stuff as well, comfrey. And I just want to make a mention on that, Derek. Yeah. Um, the reason we have this, we're going to plant it into the middle there, is because we're this able to make now, our it? own plant food. But okay. the, the bees absolutely love this plant, comfrey. And where is it found? So you can actually get it in the sides of roads and ditches. Oh, it's, it's quite it's quite invasive when it spreads, but it's brilliant for now. biodiversity. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're yeah. going to plant that in. And um, we have some herbs and whatnot as, as well. well. Um, so we have, that's more comfrey okay. there. Our flower hasn't come on it yet, but we also have some rosemary there too, grown by the course participants as well, our um, growing participants, yeah. And there's a lot of involvement here in the community as well, in the garden. So everyone is basically, you know, everyone rolls up their sleeves and gets stuck in, That's don't they? it, absolutely, Derek, because this space was created by the community for the community. And we're just delighted to link in with Energia and DIY this year for the Get Ireland Growing campaign on July 2nd, where we're going to have a number of activities, um, including uh, composting tutorials, growing your own tutorials, building your own raised beds and we're also going to do a biodiversity walk so we can look further at the link between biodiversity nature and growing our own. And as I think you said at the start as well Shona, the great thing about this project is that this used to be a dump before it was wasteland, you know there was stuff just piled, thrown in here Yeah. and now look at it. Yeah because classically of course you know education has gone a long way in terms of um, waste management and whatnot. But in order to create this site, we had to take um, tons of rubbish out of here. We found the old playground that was in the village 
that had been there since the 50s. We found, we found an old rocking horse. An old rocking horse, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And electrical waste and construction waste and whatnot all dumped in here. So it's really come a long way. OK, fantastic. And I see Joe, Joe down the back there. <laughs> Joe, will you get busy there, will you? <laughs> we, we have to crack the whip on him here. But come here, a fantastic community project. We're loving what you're doing here in Clintooskirt in County Roscommon. Uh, I believe you can check out the app as well. There's a great app online with lots of resources as well. Especially it's for making uh, compost too. That's it. Yeah, yeah. So in terms of compost, we actually have our own compost mm. and bays. Again, built by the community for the community. So residents are able to link in with that project. So we'll have our demo day now soon. And there's yeah. about €1,000 for grabs for your community as well so you can check out more online at getirlandgrowing.ie Shauna thank you so much for joining us here this morning back That's to you sure. guys in studio look at this for a display fantastic we're busy bees here <laughs> well done Derek